through my whole life with a slime disease, no one understands me. I am like in my own little alien planet because no one understands me. The CDC even speculate that, that there are approximately 300,000 cases a year that go undetected. Here's one, my son. I got tired. He couldn't form a sentence. Very, very anxious. He started stuttering. Mentally and physically, I got two times more sensitive. He, it seemed like he regressed age-wise. Then, you know, one day he started eye blinking and had tics. They progressed to body tics. I was just so confused and like, what's going on? What's this Lyme disease? Undetected, untreated, and his Lyme disease has morphed into an autoimmune encephalopathy. So, now what? The disease attack particular area of the brain responsible for cognition and verbal memory, and that called hippocampus. My memory is horrible. Typically characterized by cognitive decline, memory impairment, impairment of personality, a change in behavior. The body twitching really interfered with his thought process and anxiety increased. So it really just interfered with any kind of cognitive function at school. Um, interfered with his friendships, interfered with life completely. So it really did turn his life upside down. It turned our family upside down. Dr. Najar was the one that really understood me. And when I go visit him, that's where everything changes because he just says like, he understands. It's like, I'm like, oh my God, he understands. He prescribes some medicine. Every other week, he's hooked up to an IV for 10 hours. My tics and everything and anxiety subside more and more each and every week, which I think is progress. We're over the six month mark now. We see Patrick's cognitive function coming back. We see his writing is coming back. It's going to take time, but it's quite honestly a miracle. I hope that at the end of this, I'm better. I still have some like mm, cream ticks and stuff, but like mm, like just so little and like like no anxiety. And I hope it stays that way for a little while longer until I can beat this thing. I don't want another child to go through this, and I don't want other parents to go through what we went through to find a doctor that can treat this. Dr. Nishar saved our boy's life last fall when no one had an answer. I've never met anyone so dedicated, and we're grateful. <laughs>